All right, here we are. Finally got paired. <clears throat> oh man, now we finally got paired. The guy's not going to show up. Oh, I'm playing against one of my friends. I'll give you one second. I'm just going to post. Me and this guy are in a Facebook group together. So I'm going to post here. So we're not playing against Abzan, so we're not going to mulligan anything that's at all keepable. I guess I should. So this is like a pretty awful matchup. And right here, we're just looking for removal. <clears throat> Just need to be able to deal with like a Grim Flare or Bob. I don't think we want either of these. We have, or I guess we have a stub for Liliana. <laughs> My friend is harassing me. He's talking all this shit. Alright, what do we got? Please be a tarp lawyer. We can beat that. We can beat this. <clears throat> oh shit, I'm, I fetched the wrong land. Should have fetched the blue land there. Because I could just Serum Visions into Serum Visions. Because now, like, Liliana is going to be just a mega problem. But we can dismember this Tarmogoyf and then play Gurmag Angler with, like, Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, I should have fetched a blue land so I could stub this. This was just, like, su super egregious. It was a poor play from the home team. Yeah, we let him have this. We probably take Snapcaster Mage. Right, like he's got to take, he's got to take, he might, well, he can't even take the stub. I'm going to EOT cycle this and then hit this thing right now. If he goes to play like a Mishra's Bobble, I've got to do it while it's on the stack so that the time life isn't large enough to. Cycle. Get this Tarmogoyf out of here. <clears throat> now I'm just going to play Gurmag Angler and have Snapcaster Mage up in order to flash in if they play a Liliana. Alright, another Gurmag Angler is interesting. If I had something like a Thought Scour, I would just play on... Um, should just try to shrink his tongue alive too. I would um if I had something like a tongue alive or not a tongue alive. If I had something like a gosh, I can't speak. If I had something like a thought scour, I would just pass because then I could like stub Liliana. 
or I could like just flash Snapcaster Mage in and not waste my mana. And that's probably just gonna like lingering souls me. Or just cast Liana. Liana the last hope, okay. Just puts the top two cards, rolls down. And gets Tarmaloyf back. And now we just gotta hope that. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna flash this in, try to get this Liliana off the board. Hope he doesn't have another Path to Exile. Yeah, that'd be his last card. He's got Path to Exile, Tarmaloyf. Wow, that's a beating. All right, well, at least we get to go. Well, I can just cast Angler now, which is bigger than his. The problem, well, actually, actually is just like go nuts here with Serum Visions. Because like we add a card, make a mana. They're, they're, he's drawn a land, which is pretty great. And that's a really, that's another two really good draws. Put on the bottom, put on top. I might as well just cast all of these. Put on the bottom, put on the bottom. Oh, nope. Get rid of this Tarmogoyf. <clears throat> Play Gurmag Angler. And then we get to kill the Liliana, and then it's just Gurmag Angler verse. So now we're in good shape. All right, so we get this off the battlefield. And then we have like as soon as we have something relevant to pair, we should be in good shape. That's really relevant. It's it's worth noting that our um, we don't have Ferocious. Actually, we get Ferocious now. So now I can go like Snap, Stab, Snap, Stub, Snap of Lingering Souls. Get that out of here. <clears throat> That's a big draw. Because now he's dead in two. If he cracks his fetch land, <clears throat> then he's just dead to like Snapcaster Mage plus Battle Rage. So it looks like we're gonna get him. Why can't I see I can't I hate this. I can't even see my chat. On here. I can see it coming up on my Twitch thing, but I can't see it here, which is kind of annoying. The flare is pretty good. Flare is not that good. We will tilt him and expect him to say traverses. Yes, exactly. We're all about this whole stream is just dedicated to tilting Kevin. I wonder how many traverses he's playing. I haven't seen a bobble yet, and he's like 15 cards in. I'm trying to let him know I got Battle Rage. Just so Kevin knows. Just let him know. He's playing three traverses. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, you're already jumping through these hoops. We want our pushes. Cards we are not interested in. Faithless looting is not good here because we're going to go down cards. Cut a couple of these. Probably need my battle rages.
We have a lot of ways to deal with Lingering Souls after Cyborg. Because we have like four. Uh, and then cut like one Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt's actually not that great against his deck, besides fighting off creatures. So we're going to try this. On three Traverses and just in the of list of Street Wraith, Grizzly Salvage. Play Street Wraith. Street Race the best card. By far. It's free. Zero mana. Zero mana. List up for zero mana. You get another card off of Street Race. All right, we're going to mulligan the no lander. All right, we're going to keep this one. Put a land on top. <clears throat> you go down a card, though. I don't really know what he's... So, yeah, that might be right. Sadia, I cut one of them. I probably could cut one more. I don't really know what he's playing. Like, if he's got bobs, then I want bolts. But if he doesn't have bobs, then I probably don't want bolts. But, like, these decks also don't play bob that much. Sure, dude. God, I hope he takes my Serum Visions. We're probably just going to like, look at his hand and realize we can't win. He asked me why I'm so greedy, because my competition is so weak. Taurus doesn't play Bob. Okay. Well, they played it a while ago. I don't know. I feel like you. I feel like these decks can always like play a bunch of different stuff. You know, like it's it's very customizable, right? <clears throat> yeah, the Duke does. God. I need a slow play judge here. Guess who isn't an abs in the Duke Zan, though? <laughs> yeah, it's done for Lingering Souls. Pretty much. Takes my K command. He's probably like, now he's just going to like lose his mind. It's like, he's doing a one lucky card. I'm going to take this path to exile. This is not a legitimate magic card. I'd like to let you all know, this is not a real magic card in modern. This card is a joke. <clears throat> you know what makes my Death Shadow bigger? So Kev should just wait. No, you should you should bobble. Oh no, he's gonna do this, okay. This is right. So now he should wait till my turn and scry. Yeah, what a good what a good guy. He should scry himself, though, because he might want to keep the card. <clears throat> That's a pretty good draw. Hopefully we get into a discard spell here and we just take this Traverse. I don't want this Bolt. I probably want this Thoughtseize. It's going to either hit... Like, if he doesn't hit a land, it's going to hit what he Traverses for, or it hits the Siege Rhino. Yeah, let's put this on top. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if he was trying to make it work in Grixis Legacy because we're going to play the PT. Dude, Siege Rhino is just like not a real magic card. It's just not. Like, you saw all those Bridge from the Low decks, those KCI decks? This thing is just not real. 
Oh man, when I I top aided a couple of SCG regionals a couple of years ago, and I was playing Abzan, um, and I just cut Siege Rhino from my deck and just played two main deck Gideon Ally of Zendikars. And I was just so much better than Siege Rhino. It's the same clock if you're playing against a combo deck. He wanted the card he kept. So this thought he should be live. He's probably going to go like land Tarmogoyf. And then I'm going to push his Tarmogoyf. Then I'm going to untap Thought Scour myself. Find a fetch line like a professional. Freaking Thought sees his Siege Rhino. And then play a Shadow. And then Kevin's just fucked. Six ways to Sunday. I was just like pound four beers during this so I can tell Kevin I beat him drunk. Even if it's Cryptic Command, I think it's still bad. But that's another thing. He's going to Bajoku bog me. Wow, he has a Nihil Spellbomb in play. God, these plays from Kevin Honeybear Wang, they're just unreal. All right. Let's do this first. Take a look. We missed. Check the goods. <clears throat> so what do I want Kevin to do next turn? I can just take this Traverse, and then he's got a Lingering Souls. But him Lingering Souls is like actually worse for us than casting Siege Rhino. So we're going to hope that Kevin plays his Siege Rhino. We hit a Fetch Land, push the Siege Rhino, and then play our Shadow. And then it's Death Shadow and like plus K command against Lingering Souls. He's gonna pop his bomb, okay. It's kind of annoying, we lose like one of our battle rages. This is a Liliana. Oh you bastard. Anything but a Liliana. If he plays a Liliana in open board, I'm just like super dead. Alright, Thoughtseize. So he's got Lingering Souls X. Yeah, that makes sense. But, like, imagine if this was just a tireless tracker. If this was a tireless tracker, I would actually be afraid of this card. And don't tell me, like, oh, tireless tracker costs four mana when they have this card. Like, tireless tracker is actually good. This thing is just, like, this thing is just horrendous. This is offensive. This is offensive to everyone that plays modern. How you doing, Nameless? You can't play Tracker with 19 lands. You can't play Siege Rhino with 19 lands. Like, don't, don't, like, don't tell me that. Like, if you, you're, like, if you don't want to play Tracker with, yeah, like, if you don't want to play Tracker with 19 lands, I get it. But, like, you got to play it over the Siege Rhino. All right, come on, baby. We get these shadows in play like now. All right, well that's like close. Do I dismember this thing? The problem is if I dismember this, yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. Because his last two cards are Siege Rhino, Lingering Souls. Next turn, he's probably going to play Lingering Souls or Siege Rhino. We're going to... Okay, here comes Lingering Souls. Okay. So I really want to hit Fetch Land. Come on, give me Fetch Land. Put on the bottom. Put on top. I just needed like I, mean, I could have I could have dismembered to play Death Shadow. Which might have been right. Okay, so he's got a bobble. So he's gonna be able to see my Liliana. The big question is here, if he just flashes back Lingering Souls. No, is he top deck a Liliana? What a bastard, dude.
So he's going to ditch his bomb. Kevin attacks me. I play my own Liliana, tick up on this. Or if I draw a land, I might just go fetch land, shadow, shadow. But then Kevin just flashes back. Ugh. I think I'm going to ditch a Death Shadow. Dismember a Spirit. He ditched Siege Rhino. Okay. All right. So now we're just going to fire this off. Okay, he doesn't even do it. Kevin's scared. Come on, baby. Give me a Liliana. Give me the land, Liliana, baby. Okay, he sees it. Kevin sees it, and Kevin's scared. Come on, yeah, buddy. So we lose our shadow, which might have been a reason to keep. To keep our shadow around. To keep, not dismember this, because we could keep a shadow in our hand, at least. <coughs> if Kevin plays, like, a Tarmogoyf, we can roll down, get shadow, hopefully draw something. This Liliana is going to hurt Kevin, too, because if he wants to flashback Lingering Souls, he's probably going to lose cards in his hand. It just thought he's Okay, so that's a good one to ditch. I wonder if it's realistic for me to ultimate this. <clears throat> it's probably not. At least before Kevin gets to ult his Liliana. All right. So we're just going to pay full retail on this. We're going to get rid of our bobble. Kevin's got Kevin's got everything so it doesn't really matter. So now we are going to <clears throat> So now we're ahead on cuz like he goes edict <clears throat> down to 3. He has a maelstrom pulse. Oh gross. <clears throat> That's probably game. <clears throat> if I had just discarded my dismember, the problem is though he would he didn't attack. So, all right. Well, that deals with Liliana at least. Red, black, blue. So now we just need we need Kevin to miss. We need Kevin to miss, and we got a hit. Okay, he drew land. Card's not great. Do this now so we can get our F6 value. <clears throat> if we do hit a shadow, that's going to win us the game, though. Come on, Kevin, draw land. Draw land, you bastard. He's already drawn a lot of lands. For only having 19. The problem is if he doesn't draw land, he most likely... He draw a Liliana. He drew Liliana. No, he's delving. Well, no, if he was delving, he would leave up Tasker activation. Oh, he drew, like, the good Liliana. <clears throat> He just went up. He didn't get back his scavenging ooze. Okay. All right, Kevin. All right, Kevin. You just got to admit. Oh, he's going to get back his siege rhino and kill me. My God, am I going to die to this siege rhino? Am I going to die to this siege rhino that I've been just shitting on? Oh, no. Don't do it, Kevin. Oh, you got me. <clears throat> I deserve that. I deserve that. I deserve that one. Yep. All right, we're going to board out one more bolt, put one street right back in, and run it back. 
Battle Cattle Real Magic card. I deserve that. I deserve that one. For sure. <laughs> what did you say about my rhino? Kevin knows. Kevin knows. All right, this is it. <clears throat> All right, we're going to keep this. We're going to keep anything, basically. I don't think we want the explosives. I think we do want this Liliana because it's likely that Kevin discard spells us. And if he discard spells us like this Liliana is what he's going to take. It is not Lightning, he not lightning Helix attached to a 4-5, okay? If it was a lightning helix, it could kill a creature. All right, took Liliana. Joke's on you, Kevin. Semantics. All right, well, now we just dismember Tarmogoyf so we can play Shadow. Especially if we hit a land drop here. Okay, we hit another Death Shadow. We hit another one of these. <clears throat> so, we're playing into Liliana pretty hard here. But, if Kevin... Um, if Kevin doesn't have Liliana and just has another creature, then we get to dismember it. That makes us... We gotta go, like, dismember Battle Rage and he's dead. So, we just had to pray for no Liliana. It, it, well, even if, okay, so I'll give him Liliana if I get to hit a land. If I hit a land for this last hope, then then we're cool. One of the best hands, best shot I've seen. It's horses. All right, pass here. I'm going to dismember whatever he does here so that I can untap, play Liliana, take it down on an open board. <clears throat> Another di a discard spell would be pretty savage. He probably has a traverse. The way that Kevin's, like, pausing here makes me think he's got a traverse. No, I guess he played a land. Another Tarma Wave would be pretty bad because I can't kill it on my turn here. It's traversing, okay. He got Bajoku Bog. Okay, so now we gotta hit a land. If we hit a land, then we're in good shape because we can get back the shadow. Yeah. And we still have this thing laying around. Your move, Kevin. He plays 
plays Veil, that's going to be kind of annoying. Liliana Veil is just very good against these Death Shadow decks. Like, it was it was the card that was incorporated in, in the mirrors to win in the mirror. So, like, the fact that he gets to, like, just play them is really good. <clears throat> God, I play slow, and Kevin makes me look like a speed demon. I'm going to go grab another beer. I'll be right back. What's he going to get? You getting a Tarmogoyf, Kevin? What are you doing? He gets a Tarmogoyf. It's a wee little goyf. I'm going to leave this in my hand to discard to... I don't know. He's not going to do anything there. So we're going to wait. I don't know any of the cards in Kevin's hand. We might be able to... Uh, like, if Kevin goes for something here, like, if Kevin goes, like, play in flashback, lingering souls, he's dead. God, please play in flashback, lingering souls. Yes! Oh, yeah, Kevin. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Rut row. Just going to let him know. Let him know who's dominant. Just keep pushing all these things. Ugh. Oh. oh, baby. Good games, Kevin. Good games. <clears throat> oh, Kevin. The flood from Kevin. This is why you don't play Terminate. Yeah. Last hope was good there. <clears throat> oh, man. I'm just glowing. To Kevin Honey Bear Wang in Founders All Day IPA. All right, we're on the play here for the next one. Nameless. I think, I think, see, here's what I think. I think you've just got the whole modern metagame. Um, I think you've got the whole modern metagame figured out, except for me, Nameless. And I think that's it. All right, we want this. Oh, I should have done this on my turn so that I could dismember something. Oh, uh, give or take... Ooh, cranial plating is not good for the home team. Cranial plating is really good for the home team if we find a, uh, if we find a whatever it is, a battle rage. We gonna play cranial plating on this turn. Jeez. Yeah, I should have done this on my turn so that I could. Well, I think we've got to play to Death Shadow here.
Like, maybe we can race this, find another removal spell. <clears throat> so we're going to take this shot. Unfortunately, he's just dead to the cranial plating next turn, but we're dead no matter what. We are we are um we are pretty ahead here, but this is a very powerful draw from my opponent. What is this? Just playing another two drop. Please not crime average. Okay. Okay, so team or battle rage off the top. Nope. No battle rage. We have a lot of good cards after sideboard to help this matchup up here. Um, I'm gonna focus now. We got the we got this the K commands. I'm kind of iffy on Liliana. Like some draws they have against Liliana really line up. Some draws they have against Liliana really don't line up. I like rejection because I think the biggest way you lose this matchup is just like to an unanswered cranial plating or whatever it is, Arcbound Rat or um, Edge Champion. I don't like Gurmag Angler. I don't like Street Wraith. I don't like Stubborn Denial. I like to cut one Thought Seize, and that's how we do it. Exactly. Nameless, you literally own the modern format except for me. You don't have any bad matchups in modern except me. That's it. Like, like Nameless, Grixis, Death Shadows, only bad matchup in the format is Dylan Hubby. That's it. Uh, yeah. We have the awkward, like, Gurmag Angler plus Lava Mancer draw, but we might be able to circumvent that. Like, it's a good problem to have. Because it means we have Lava Mancer on one. Which Lava Mancer on one is very good against Affinity. Alright, Mox Opal. If he Gal Blast this, that's okay. Alright. Um, I guess now we looting because I can play Gurmag Angler next turn. Ditch this. I think I ditched. Probably the Snapcaster Mage, because I'm just gonna like over. I'm just gonna delve over it. We getting we getting nasty on turn two. That is what this channel. This channel is all about getting nasty on turn two. And don't let anybody else ever tell you any differently. pretty good draw. I think we're just going to sit because like my opponent's hand suggests that they're sitting on like an edge champion because they haven't played a two drop or a one drop yet. So they're probably pretty heavy on the champion. Okay, we're going to let that one go. Worship. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I did not see that worship coming. All right, none of these really matter because we're just going to like... Killing all of his creatures is going to be really hard. Because he's got these two man lands also. 
Yeah, the uh, this worship is not going to be easy to beat. Okay, I mean, the Ravager kind of gives me a chance here because they might move all in on, like, these Nexus. She doesn't attack, okay. All right, well, Lava Mancer helps. So how do I... How do I do this? I still want to be attacking. Probably don't. This is tough. Because I want to get him low enough. I also just kind of want to deal with this. If I kind of just want to go Shatter Shock on this, you probably go Sack Sack, put it on Ink Moth, which is then it's kind of annoying. But then he at least has to use mana to turn his Ink Moth on. Both equal win, yes. Destroy target artifact. Deals two damage here. Get these out of here. This worship is getting us here. She's going to move this over here. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, we got worshipped. I just can't beat this, right? Like, I need to draw, like, running... Oh, shoot, I didn't even attack. I have six in my turn. I need to draw, like, running removal spells into, like... I just need to draw running removals. And then he's got these four lands. I need to draw all my removal, and he needs to just brick for the rest of the game. Pretty much. The Lava Mancer is pretty good. Wrong one. Oh, he does die as soon as the lands turn off. Okay. So I just have to deal with this thing, basically. Oh, so, like, I'm super good here, right? Yeah, because this checks. Okay, yeah, we're good. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we just go deal three damage here. Shoot with Lava Man. Well, no, because it reduces it to one. No, it's not like they take negative. It just keeps it at one. Yeah, that's that's not... No, no, that's not how it works. It just stays at one. It, it's not like they go negative. He just makes a land. Like The only thing we can do is attack with both of our creatures and shoot a creature every turn, basically. Because, like, he has to animate, we shoot. Then he animates again, and we shoot. Yeah, Rafi, we, we're getting... We got worshipped. God, I can't EE for four. 
There's probably just no reason to play this. Because it doesn't do anything. So we basically are just killing one of these every turn. Get this out of here. He makes another one. Yeah, I don't have any brutalities in there in the deck at the moment. So we just we're basically just abyssing him every turn. And we get to counter his next play. And then we get to counter his next play. And then we can like explosives the play after that. So we might still win. Let's say Drew Galvin Blast. <sighs> oh, that's frustrating. They just got worshipped us, and then they... Oh, man. That's a tough one. Yeah, I mean, we had them... Um... Yeah. Yep, that's rough. Just a little frustrating. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, shoot. I hit the join button. Okay. Yep, random modern sideboard cards that wreck you out of nowhere. Yes, I got choked. Yep, you know. Like that's that's just how it is sometimes. I wanna keep hands like this so bad, but like it can just go so far south so fast. I believe I've played against my opponent. I cannot remember what deck they play, though. Keep you coward. How's your week been, Rafi? You keep those normally? I think on 7, it's pretty loose to keep those. Yeah, they play Storm, or we're going to stub anything here. I cut the Tasker. I don't know if I've updated my stream decker yet, but I was just try I just tried the Tasker out for a uh, for a league, see if I could support a fifth delve card. And it was I don't think it was, it was it was not what I was looking for. All right. Let's get a blood crypt. Oh, so we're playing against this deck. Okay. All right. I guess we just take their draw effect. Or we can just take exhaustion. I guess we just take exhaustion because if we prevent what they're doing, we get the first crack with Days Undoing. Howling Mine. That's interesting. Because, like, we need cards, but I think it's, like, too greedy to let this resolve. And my opponent's deck can just start chaining things off. Yeah, we're playing Modern today. Yeah, it was just my six. It was my, um... Uh, it was my, whatever it was, my 
fifth Delve card in the sideboard. I don't think I want either of these because we need to fight, hit a land drop. If we hit a land drop, we're good. I'm just going to bolt my opponent. I'll turn the heat down on my sh. My home. We'll turn the AC on, okay? Exhaustion. Creatures and lands don't untap their turn. Untap step. Okay. So they're just like time walking me, which I put that on the bottom. So they basically just cast like three mana explore, right? So now I am going to bolt them now. Just because I would like that in my graveyard in case for some reason I snap it back at some point. So we get the first crack here with this day's undoing, so we didn't really hit. So let's start here. So we don't want this dismember, though this dismember might actually lead us to a kill next turn. So let's go like this. Go get Watery Grave. I guess I should have kept another land. I should have just ditched my Gurmag. That was, that was a mistake. I should have ditched my Gurmag Angler. Nah, they're at 14. Never mind, never mind, never mind. <clears throat> but if I, if I kept my fetch land, I wouldn't have to dismember my Death Shadow. Yeah, that was just stupid. That was super dumb. It was just poor from me. All right, you got your opt. Put a card on the top, so they're opting into it. So it's boomerang and instant. It is an instant. Okay. That almost does it. Kill land. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, and they'd be dead now if we'd have done this properly, but we did not. Temporal Trespass. Uh-oh. Guess I got too aggressive with that remand. Now we're going to lose this match because I didn't keep a land. Chat. We're going to lose a match because now they're just going to go Temporal Mastery. They're going to play. They're going to do the Delve card here, which costs 11, 3, 6. They do have to Delve. They can't cast it. Holy shit. Snapcaster. All right. Gotta love it when a plan comes together. Just kidding. They exhausted me. It's kind of annoying. Okay. So this is gone. So now they play the Delve one. We're gonna lose because we're gonna lose because I played loose. Okay. 
exhaustion. Let me get one more card. I mean, like, all these ancestral visions are coming off next turn. Probably shouldn't have even attacked with this, just held back. Nope, I lost. They worshipped me. Got worshipped in game two. Which sucked. Come on. All right, come on, make it quick. And then we're going to lose this game here because I played like an asshole. Time warp, yep. Exhaustion, how does that work? Okay, so that just kills me because my stuff doesn't untap. Yeah. All right, all right, I yield. I yield. Yeah, if I'd have had my head out of my ass, I'd have won this one too. But what are you going to do? Not put your head in your ass. That would be the best way to do it. All right, so let's get rid of this. This. I know I don't want my dismembers. I don't want my fatal pushes. I don't want my bolts. I do want engineered explosives. K command's probably all right is my last card. Yeah, let's do this. K command's basically a braid. Like, a braid only kills Howling Mine. K command does a little bit more than that. So... Like in a pinch, they can dis they can just discard it. Let's play first. I got a mulligan in this hand. Heater. We do want this, yeah, just like too greedy to not take that. All right, we don't need one of these. We're going to ditch the land. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have ditched that land because I'm going to need that land to cast this shadow. God, I'm all over the place tonight. I'm just, like, still frustrated about tossing that last match. Well, I didn't toss it, but, like, it was very, like, unfortunate what happened in that last... Oh, I tossed that last game. It was very unfortunate what happened against Affinity. But maybe we'll hit a Street Wraith here for no justice. All right, Inquisition's not bad. So we're going to put this on the bottom, put this on top. Next turn we play two shadows. All right, we're gonna get rid of this thing in the ice. Oh, this guy! I was four zero a couple days ago, and this guy beat me for the five zero, and that was that maybe that sucked. Don't tell Dylan. We still love you. <laughs> Thank you. That's all that matters. What does this thing do? Is this just like untap target legendary permit? This must be to untap the land. Is the land legendary? One that you can tap to and draw a card? Or is this just to like not get choked? Okay, so they drew into another one of these. They're kind of spinning their wheels. <clears throat> I 
I want to rewatch the uh, Pro Tour tonight. I only caught the last two rounds because I was at work today. I was on the field today, which sucked. So now we're just going to hold up stub. We actually wouldn't even mind if my opponent played like a Howling Mine now because we get it on the front foot. They didn't put a card on top, so they might just like Temporal Master me, but or Temporal Master. But all Temporal Mastery does is it's basically just Explore. Sulfur Falls. Snapcaster Mage. So I know they have a Burst Lightning, but that's it. But they have, they've drawn like a million cards, so it's probably worth like Snap Inquisitioning. All right, that's big. So I'm going to attack first. He might not block because he'll want to set up a block plus Burst Lightning. Yeah. Okay, so he's got this bolt, this burst lightning, so we're just going to take this lightning bolt. Keep our shadow alive. Now all we need to fetch land off the top, we're good. <clears throat> he's still not dead, because it's 3, 6, 8, minus 1 is 7. Cards on top, so they're gonna be able to draw into one of them. It's probably a bolt. Thing in the ice. Okay, come on, baby. And it's not gonna take a lot for him to flip that thing. That's not good. So we can just play out this next shadow because even if he flips this thing next turn, if he blocks with the thing in the ice, I think we're just gonna battle rage over it. He just doesn't even have to block here, and he's still fine. Opponent doesn't know that. Like we could, we could have like a bolt, bolt ourselves, street wraith, but we probably would have street wraith main phase. Deal. Achievement unlocked. Battle Rage, a Snapcaster Mage. We're just going to run out a third one of these. Because he's going to be able to kill one. Sometimes Snapcaster Mage just gets frisky. You know what? After this league, we're going to play Kevin's Abs and Traverse list. Let me get on this thing here. I'm going to go get that list from Abzan. From Kevin on Abzan. Kevin, maybe there one, yeah, right here.
Since his last league? You mean like the one that he's, he's playing right now? I'm going to give it a whirl. After this, I do like playing Abzan Traverse. That was kind of like my, my favorite mid-range deck I've ever played. The problem with the Traverse deck is I just got to the point where I was like, why not just play Death Shadow? We're not going to focus on that. Okay, so Boomerang, one. What do we have here? Oh, he's going to take another turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can have this one more card. All right. Played Explore plus Bounce My Dude. So these time warps aren't that great. Like while they are, they're, like they're basically just casting Explorer. So yeah, like he's just merely treading water here. So let's try, let's try this out because we hit a fetch land. We can at least, we can at least make him think about it. Uh, I probably actually want to keep this. I don't even really need this shadow. We'll keep the cantrip for. After combat. I guess now we can like boomerang, snap boomerang one. I can't recast it. Bolt my okay. He's got burst lightning left. So he almost had enough burn to kill me. He just bolt my Snapcaster Mage to send a message. All right, dude. Oh, Moto's tweaking out. All right, back for the next game. Um, I probably want these Fatal Pushes back in my deck. For that worried, like a thing in the ice is a potential thing. We probably can ditch this K command. And we probably can just like one Gurmag Angler and an Engineered Explosives. Yeah. No, I want the Gurmag Angler. We'll just ditch this EE. We're just going to get out in front of him. Don't worry about answering his stuff. Just bury him. I'm about to restart Moto after this round. Probably. If you're still in the chat. Uh... Oh, yeah, you are. IX E the wrist. I think it's Andrew. I appreciate the follow. We're going to. We're going to mulligan this hand. This hand is just not good enough. All right, we'll keep this one. This is a pretty explosive. So this is an angler on two, and we have some defense against the uh, defense against thing in the ice. Cycle this. We're gonna find a discard spell. Would be great. Death shadow is also great. So we're gonna keep looking now. We didn't hit. So now we have to go angler into shadow next turn, which is just about the stone cold nutter butters. I can remand my Death Shadow though, which is my uh, Gurma Angler, which is kind of mopey. Though he might have boarded out his remands. But remand does get better on the play. Alright, we don't need a second push, more than likely. So we're going to use our mana. So let's just go get a Blood Crypt. I don't really want to cycle this tree wraith too aggressively, as we've seen. Like they obviously have some burn left in their deck. Yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to get just like randomly punked out here. All 
All right, come on, play a thing in the ice. No. I should have played my fetch land. Doubt I would use it, but I should at least give myself the option to. What's nice now is it takes three spells for him to kill us. So we're going to hover right there. Because here probably comes Snap Volt. Yep. So we're going to just push this Snapcaster Mage. So maybe I got a little too aggressive. I don't know. Because now we could get exhausted out of this, theoretically. Okay, Cryptic Command, what do you got? Another Snapcaster? Just the old naked snap. All right. Yeah, I appreciate that. All right, I'm actually going to put it on here on the sponsor page here. So my name is Dylan Hubby. I appreciate you all for hanging out tonight. If you're on YouTube, I appreciate you for the views. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button or the like and subscribe button below. Um, if you want to support me, check me out on Twitter. All that's linked below on both YouTube and Twitch. Uh, if you're on Twitch, you should check out my new video. If you're on YouTube, you should check out my Twitch channel. And if you guys need to buy singles, you should check out Gamer Craze. That's where I learned to play Magic. It's a great store. And the Crystal Commerce is linked below, so you should check them out. All donations and subscriptions go towards keeping my dog fat. He went to Vermont for two weeks with my wife in order to make sure that he stays, like, super fat. So, so I have no Philly. I'm all alone for two weeks. It's just me. So... You all should check it out. What I was just redoing here. I'm going to grab another beer and I'll be right back. Okay, put it back on the stream. Let's get this 4 1. I actually just sold off the, what I had left of my Abzan deck in order to get myself some Scalding Tarn so I can finish the Grixis Shadow deck, which is kind of sad. I, I liked playing Abzan for about a year. But then I started understanding more about it, and then I found this deck. Uh, we're going to keep this. We have a little bit of everything. Like this hand's not a dud against anything. It's then Mullet 5, which is... Always solid for the home team. Pendle Haven. So we're playing against Infect. All right, so now that makes that easy. So we're just going to cast this, see what their top card is. Actually, I'm just going to get Watery Grave. Even though it cuts off this Lightning Bolt, it lets me cast like my Cantrip and my Discard Spell. So, all right, there's Dryad Arbor into Noble. Jeez, no land yet. Yeah, we might just get regular damage out of this game. Like, watch them just load up on this Dryad Arbor and just smack me here. I guess I knew I knew they had that noble, 
So maybe it was worth not killing it. I'm not sure. They're probably, yeah, they're definitely thinking about it in their head. They're like, do we just serve and try to kill him? Or do we wait? Okay. Crack me for three. Nope. Okay, so they're not going to do that. Icker Claw Mirror. All right. All right, let's take this last card. They're probably going to cast it. If it's a, Hopefully it's not a Become Immense. Okay. So we're going to cast this stub on anything because it lets me play Gurmag Angler with stub up next turn. So like, it doesn't matter what this is here, we're going to go for it. If we draw land also, we can like bolt with stub up. Okay, Blighted Agent. This is getting harder. This is getting harder. Come on, land. All right. We're getting bit in the ass for not getting that red land on turn one right now. So if they draw Become Immense, I think we die. Okay, it's not Become Immense. Come on. Give me a land. It could be land. Okay, great. That's a great land because that gets Death Shadow into play. So now we should be good. I can probably just wait on the shadow also. And then stub whatever my opponent does here. I guess. No, nah, I guess it's just higher upside to play it. Like they, they attack with this Icra Climber here, I can just block with the shadow. Well, it's probably actually worth it to just hold back with the Gurmag Angler. If I, if I made this play, I should have attacked with Angler. So this, this was all around loose. I messed this all up. So I'm just going to chump block this. Yeah, this was stupid. This thing actually gets bigger than the angler, which is kind of scary. So now we stub whatever they do. Now we're gonna turn it, we're gonna turn the heat up here. Because even become immense doesn't kill me and it just turns on my death shadows. So I think we're in a good spot here. Come on. I should not yielding turn off my auto yields. Come on, man. You're not going to block. There's no way that, that my opponent blocking goes well for them at all here.
no matter what we do here. We still can do make the same play next turn because we've got both. Even if they drew two pump spells and they try to block Angler, we have both of them covered. I have not tried the three Angler, two Tasker split. I tried four Anglers and one Tasker on the board a couple nights ago and was not a super fan because all the matchups that I want Tasker in are like a fifth Delve card. They've got Graveyard Hand for sideboard. So was not a huge fan. Is this it right here? All right. Oh no, I just want a list. Draw add a copy. No, oops, oops, get out of this. Download. Um, explore the text. All right, here we go. Let's see if it's within my my credit limit for card hoarder. Traverse Abzan Arena. I like it. What a name. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we have just triple counter spell up. Give me a second. Clear. Okay. So let's check this out. Import deck list. Oh, that is way over my uh, my tick limit, unfortunately. It's not way over. It's about 70 ticks over. What is so expensive in this deck? God, you guys are wicked toolboxy with this sideboard. I hated that when I played the deck. Point four on Monday, I had the blister today. Yeah, it's a little over my credit limit. I might have to look into it. I do like playing that deck, so I probably should check it out at least one more time. So now we gotta be a little careful. We don't have to be as careful. Yeah, it's a little over my credit limit, but I probably can make it work somehow. All right, you got it. And now we're just going to, like, abyss them next turn. At the end of their turn, we'll try to, like, snap bolt. This deck is super toolboxy here. Okay, so let's get into a fight. Fatal push. Push this and then stub their next play. Two surgicals. You really want surgical as your graveyard hate right now? I guess it's all right. You get surgical and Nihil spell bomb. 
Kevin only got one Niles Bell bomb and he drew against me. What a jerk. I'm just gonna go like this. We don't need the battle rages. We don't need two anglers. I like cutting some number of street wraiths and then two faithful salutings because they bring an invisible stalker. Let me export this so I just have it. Um, this walking, this walking blister seems cute. Just gonna say. All right, heater. Because now we've got out to uh, we got out to whatever it is on turn one as well as turn two. All right. So we're just going to get rid of this right now. The Lava Mancer will be there. Who knows, maybe I'll set up a play next time we play just Gurmag Angler. Where is this deck? Do another Bobble, which is always sweet. Come on, Moto, you can do it. All right, add deck. All right, Absente. Okay, got it. No, oh, come on, Moto, you can do it. I guess I already had an Abzan Traverse list up from a little while ago. So. Might as well bobble our opponent. Because no matter what, we're going to. So they're drawing a Vines and they have Spell Pierce. I think it's better to get this. Even though I kind of want to play the Angler, I think it's probably better to just start working this Lava Mancer. Like, I think that's how, like how things go haywire. Oh, God. This is just... Avert your eyes. Because this is just downright rude. They might mutagenic growth to save the noble hierarch. <laughs> oh, you can't redirect. You've already it's already is the target. Huh. You can do that? I did not know you could do that. Because it's already the target of one side of the spell. So, it was two damage. Huh. Well, I guess you learn something new every day. That's a moto bug, right? He can't do that. That's what I thought. Whatever. I guess I should have just I should have shot the noble hierarch. It is. Yeah. I should have shot the noble hierarch here. Instead of playing this. I thought about like this Pendle Haven only does with a one one creature, not all creatures. Yeah, well, because I knew you couldn't do it. Because, like, I guess I had never exactly heard, like, a Colagon's Command experience with it. But, oh, am I just dead? I could be just dead here. No, Crabdigger's Cage? Okay, so I'm not dead. Um, I knew that you couldn't do it. Um, gosh, I knew you couldn't do it with, like, uh, whatever the dumb card is. 
blanking. Um, I know you couldn't do it like with electrolyze. Like if it goes to electrolyze, like the spell sky and one other thing, you can't redirect it because it's already a target. Hang on. Let's sequence correctly. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Get rid of this. If they vines this, okay. Now I'm gonna attack and then just play another Gurmag Angler. Probably just pop this now because I don't know what they can have, but this is their hand. I don't want them to draw like some stupid indestructible thing. I guess I could also just wait. I could get wait. I could wait and then not get got by um, Invisible Stalker, which I'm all about. <clears throat> and now, like, if they go for anything, I'll just vines and blow it all up. The next turn. If they play a blocker, I got that covered with the Lava Mancer and the Dismember. All right. Well, nope. Still got it covered. I guess not necessarily, because they can like Pendle Haven the Sink Moth now. All right. Oh, we can't play. F we can play two life for each of those. Okay, before blocks. Actually, I need to put another card in the graveyard. So now he vines. Or vines is. I guess this doesn't work like I want it to. Because I'm never going to have two cards in the graveyard before this Vines resolves. Spell Pierce. Okay, so now I will. So now he goes like Vines. We go Bing. We got him. There we go. Okay. So my league is almost done. I kind of want to play something different. Yeah, just cage for snap. I guess you saw Faithless looting. Like, whatever. I should make a straw poll. Because I kind of want to play one more league. After this, I don't really care what I play, but I want to I play something good. I want to play something good. Sounds great. We're going to keep this. Opponent mulligan, that's always great. Okay, I think what we're going to do here, we're going to go. Here you go, take it easy there, nameless. S straw poll. Humans, Storm, Udabar. I guess we can put Shadow on here also. Oh, shoot. Oh, so we're playing Shadow Mirror here. Humans, Storm, Udavar, Shadow. Shuffle, option one. Oh, so I put the comma in there too early. That's what got me. Yeah. Humans, Storm, Udavar, Shadow. There we go. 
All right, so let's check out our top card. We're looking for a discard spell here. It's a little over my credit limit, unfortunately. So it's a bit, it's a tough for me to swing. I would have to like set some stuff up before I stream. I'm not, I can't do that. I can't do that right now. All right, so we take car, target Gurmag Angler. What do they do with this? They put one and one. So it's nice we have a third push in our board. Okay, so that's what they drew. That's an odd one to keep on top. I guess they could, it looks going to let them angler. God, I hope they run this shadow out. Just play that 1-1. One, one. No, they're not going to. Good plays. Good plays from our opponents. All right, let's go get another Watery Grave. It's like Nomo Bobble. Yeah, that happens. Yep, we're going to put this on the bottom, put this on top. My opponent's probably dead. Unless they have an answer to this Gurmag Angler like this turn, then the Shadow Mirror is just pretty ruthless, especially when you start like having Push and Snapcaster Mage. Because like they could discard spell me here, set up to play their Shadow, and then all of a sudden I just go like Snap off the top. That's why these Thoughtseize Mirrors kind of suck for that reason. Now we are turning on their Snapcaster or their Shadow here, but we're actually not going to looting because I, I might. There's like if they uh, if they go play a Shadow here and I push it and then they or they take any damage, then I'm just going to bolt snap bolt them. Okay, big fish. I actually can go bolt snap bolt the angler, then keep attacking. We could have put them to one, but I'd rather just be ahead on the battlefield. And we get to Faithless Looting, so like we are going to be able to find what we need. A double Shadow. Okay. All right. Oh, that's good, right? That does it. Fatal push. Get this out of here. They scoop it up. Okay. All right. Results. We have three total votes, which is sweet. Um, I think I just want my push. My last hope is my K commands. Ditch my battle rages. I'm gonna, I, I kind of like the lightning bolts. Um, now I'm going to ditch one of my lightning. I'm going to ditch both my bolts. All these cards are just better. Oh, shoot. Where'd they go? So actually, I think I'm gonna call it after this league. Just do one league, and then um, because I want to watch, I want to watch the Pro Tour. So I, I honey, I honey dicked y'all. We're just gonna do one league tonight. Yeah, I think you. I don't know. Like Stony Silence is just so good. You don't have the clock. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the re the replay. We're going to keep this because it just sucks mulliganing in this matchup. Our opponent mulligans, which is great. I 
I do want to play humans at some point. I just want to make sure, like, I'm going to play Death Shadow during, like, PTQ season. My opponent disconnected, which sucks. I'm going to play um, Death Shadow during PTQ season, but I might, for, like, GP Detroit, I might, um, I might do something else. So, Andrew, this is, like, offensive. This Siege Rhino is so offensive. I just play Tireless Tracker. Something I really liked when I played this deck, and I don't know if you guys, it's worth you guys, you know, doing this or not, but I really liked having three Abrupt Decays in my main deck. Or in between my 75, because you were very soft to, like, rest in peace effects. Like, much more than the normal Abzan deck. Already padding, paddling upriver to play a sheer shit damn <laughs> like <a> absent. <laughs> Talk to me about this surgical. Like, why do you have two surgicals and one nigh hell spell one? Like, what, what, what's the point there? Bullets and spells. It's just a matter of finding balance. <coughs> Testing surgical again. Okay. So let's check out our top card here. We like it. So we're just going to take this stubborn denial. We've got all their threats covered. Yeah. Surgical is always like... The problem is that all like the graveyard decks, if they become like... I think if you want to play Graveyard Hate, I think you've got to play, um, well, that kind of, that doesn't really suck. We still have everything covered. If you want to play a Graveyard Hate piece right now, I think it's got to be Leyline. Because even Surgical is too slow for those, um, those new bridge decks. Like, you could easily just play three Leylines instead of your Graveyard Suite. That was a nice draw. One, two, three, four. So we're still mana off from getting nasty, so we might as well hold off. This kind of blow, they took my Snapcaster Mage, but like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I think I think the graveyard hate that you need now is Leyline. Yo, if this is a Liliana, okay. Yeah, I mean, in Christmas land, right? Like, you need four of that. And I guess you don't necessarily need four Fulminator Mages. Yeah. So they're probably, they're just getting nasty here. It's terrible, Yard Hate. Yeah. All right, so they're not going to oblige me here. We are going to jam our Gurmag Angler, though. Okay, so there's push and denial. I think we want both of these. Let's put this on top, put this on top. Oh, hey, Archmage. Oh, we got a Snapcaster Mage, you don't say. Yo, your UW control deck was the most... Like the best performing deck at the PT. God, they just hit a Liliana. Are you shitting me? Or are they just like going full retail with this Gurmag Angler? 
Okay. Well, now we get to play our Gurmag Angler with Stub Up. And even if they draw Death Shadow, we've got it covered. Hey, with the sub. What a guy. Gonna walk the dog. See you in the ads and groups. Thank you. Take it easy. Thank you for the sub there, Andy. Because you're a dumbass. We'll open up a chest for you. Open up one. What do we get? Haunted play mail, nothing. This chest is almost as bad as Siege Rhino. It's actually worse than Siege Rhino. Looks like we're going to end with this 4 1, which is kind of sweet. I might play another one. I don't know. I swear to God. Dude, it's just Siege Rhino, but strictly worse. That's all it is. My opponent gets nasty here. We might be in a little, little bit of trouble. Playing last hope. What is this shenanigans? Worse than everything in modern. <laughs> okay, so this game could get difficult now. For style points, sure. God, it's just not a legitimate magic modern magic card. Don't dismember my angler. So we're not going to attack with Gurmag Angler because... If we attack and then they have push, we die. So we're just going to like hold up a turn here. Man, look at this. Look at these with the plays. I'm blocking. Swear to God, I'm blocking. I will block your creature. Ooh. Ah, we should do this now. Oh, they had a Snapcaster made. That's what I thought. All right. That's why I wanted to do it in their upkeep in case they did, but the upside is so high if they don't have it. So now I'm just going to push this Snapcaster if they attack, because they're likely going to attack here. Because we have to block Angler, they get in for two points. 